I'm Cheryl Hooks. I'm a clinical imaging specialist for GE Healthcare, and today I'm going to talk to you about the different profiles that we have on our GE OEC C arm. So there's a couple different ways that you can actually get to your profiles and change it. The first one is after you enter your patient information, you can just simply go over here and click the button that says profile. Once you click on it, you're going to get all your options. This particular C arm defaults to the general profile, and the way I know that is when I look down here on the status bar, I see the same icon that's there for the general profile. And for example, if I change it and then hit OK, the icon's going to change to what profile I'm on. Another way you can change your profiles is if you've already started your case, and let's say your doctor just isn't happy with the way the image looks. One of the first places I, one of the first things I do is I will change my profile before I make any sort of brightness or contrast changes. So simply touch the icon, change a profile, okay? So you can do that. So you could either, again, open your patient, go to profiles, or if you're in a case and real quick just wanna touch the icon on the status bar, you get the same menu, okay? If you're over here in mode, you can actually click the mode button and profile is again an option here. So there's three different ways to get to the profile mode to change it. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to take some images with the torso phantom in the different profiles so that you can see the difference in them. So the first picture we're going to take is going to be in the general profile. Okay. So what you notice here is there's a nice balance in bone detail as well as soft tissue detail. Um, a lot of the doctors that use the general profile are doing body trunk work in the chest, in the abdomen, um, cysto, urology, those different, those different modalities. Because you do get that nice balance of bone detail, grayscale, soft tissue, you know, liver, gallbladders. Um, all right, so next on the list of profiles. We're going to go down here to the status bar, click the icon, and the next one is this general HD. Now this general HD and the bullish chase profile are very similar. Okay, What the HD profile is going to do is going to drop your edge enhancement, which really is going to make it mimic a subtracted run or a subtracted image. You're going to lose a lot of the bone detail, um, a lot of the soft tissue, soft tissue detail, with the goal of making wires and catheters really stand out because in that situation, that's what's important. So we're gonna select it, we're gonna hit okay, and our icon is now changed to HD. So we're gonna go ahead and take a picture with the wire so that you guys can kind of get an idea. And there you go. So again, the, um, the phantom does mimic what a subtracted image would typically look like with some of the bone back in, but look how crisp and clear that wire detail is. Alright, next, let's try a different way, let's hit mode, I'm going to click profiles, remember we said there's three different ways you can get to the profiles, and we're going to grab orthopedic. Orthopedic is just basically what it sounds like it's going to be for orthopedic work. It's very black and white, um, not a lot of emphasis on soft tissue, but that's the goal, okay? So we're going to hit OK, again we see our icon change, we're going to exit out and we're going to take a orthopedic picture. Okay. So again, bone, very black and white, soft tissue, not as important. Um, all right, so one of the benefits about the orthopedic profile is we do have a feature uh, built in called Smart Metal. And what that does is when metal is introduced into the field, it's going to balance out your bone brightness and contrast with that metal in the field, but we'll dive into that a little bit later. Uh, the next on our list is going to be the 9900 profile and that's basically what it sounds like. It's going to try to make this image mimic what it would appear on a 9900 profile. So let's move this over here, okay, and we're, this is going to be our 99, okay. So a little less detail, um, not as many shades of gray, but again if you're having a doctor that's having a harder time adjusting to all the detail on this new uh, C-arm, you can give them this, sometimes it makes them happy. Okay. Next on our list is going to be spine profile. Again, 
it is just what it sounds like. Um, yep, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So spine profile is kind of that happy medium. You do want to have soft tissue detail, but the focus is more on the on the actual bones themselves. But um, it's just not as contrast. It's not as black and not as contrast. It's not as black and white as uh, the, the orthopedic profile. So in the spine profile, it is crucial to center your anatomy and collimate as best you can. Um, other profiles are a little more forgiving, but in the spine profile, to really get that nice, crisp spine image that they're looking for, it is crucial to center your anatomy and to collimate when you can. Um, spine profile is good for pain management, um, cervical procedures, lumbar procedures. Uh, some doctors even like it for sacral procedures, whether it's injections or um, fixations. Next is the vascular. Again, that is what it sounds like. Um, it's not going to be as grainy or noisy as the general profile or the bullish chase profile. Um, but again, you're emphasizing the vessels that are filled with contrast. So we'll take a quick shot just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Again, it's, that, it's kind of that happy medium, but when you introduce contrast or wires or catheters or uh, stents even, or balloons into the field of view, it really does focus more on that than it does bony anatomy. All right, so our next profile is gonna be the uh, bullish chase profile. Again, the bullish chase profile is gonna appear like the general HD profile the bone is going to be subtracted out with the goal of visualizing contrast. But the difference with the bullish chase profile is you can actually follow contrast down an extremity without the bones blurring. You just have to make sure that if you are gonna do a bullish chase that you must enable the digital cine pulse feature, which we will go over later. All right, but we'll take a quick picture just so you can kind of see what it'll look like. Again, it looks like the HD profile. All right, so the next profile is going to be the cardiac profile, and not all systems are going to have the cardiac profile, but we'll show you what it looks like. Again, so one of the um, big advantages to having the cardiac profile is going to cut down on motion. It's that involuntary motion of the heart beating. Um, wires and catheters, when they're introduced into the heart, are blurry and they're sometimes difficult to visualize and this particular profile does try to correct some of that. So these are the different profiles that are available on our C-arms. Um, I hope this was informative and it will help you guys down the road.